Yes, yes, people, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're looking at what if Kyle Walker leaves Manchester City this year. Now, bit of a rocky if, Kyle Walker. Obviously, the Euros, people slagging him and that. Obviously, in the City shirt, people slagging him and that. A few good performances in there, but then obviously, we all know he's had some clangers this year as well. So, what if he leaves? What are our options? What do we do? But first, hit, do us a favor, hit the like button, subscribe channel if you are new. So, Kyle Walker leaving Manchester City. Price tag wise, I'm not sure what City would be looking for. Obviously, the guy's now 32, 33. Performances have dipped a bit. They have dipped a bit, uh, if I'm honest. Still a very good right back for us. The pace there is unreal. I personally, to put this out there, I don't think he leaves City this summer. But I do think that Saudi will be in with some offers. That's the rumours that Saudi are looking at trying to sign Kyle Walker. We know Bayern Munich were interested earlier in the season. However... I think a, a Saudi offer might be tempting for Walker if you get some decent money there, um, similar to the Edison deal. Um, now, what's our options? So, like the others, uh, the other videos that we've done this week, first option is going and getting a replacement right back because we're not really good at fullbacks. <laughs> we don't really sign fullbacks. We usually just play players out of position in them fullback roles. So, signing a fullback. Firstly, you've got someone like Jeremy Frimpong. He has a release clause. Very fast, very good going forward. I've said plenty of times, now with the new system that we've been playing last season, when we drop into like a three at the back, I think having these uh, right wing backs, basically, like you got... Vardio left wing back who gets forward even Ake gets forward when he's on that side probably not as much or pushes high as uh, as high up as uh, Vardio but Kyle Walker we've seen bombing down that right wing quite a lot and we know Kyle Walker can't cross a ball so getting someone who can actually is, is quite competent going forward who lacks a bit defensively uh, is probably good I think I think that's decent now Kyle Walker does bring that defensive side into it but even he's having clang in, in, in this past year so Jeremy Frimpong like I say quite cheap uh, there's a release clause in there, 35 million. I think that's a good price. And for the talent that is out, bring him back to City, man. Go get Jamie Frimpong. Get that pace on that right and get that attacking, attackingness from that right hand side. I mean, Cancelo would have fit. Cancelo would have fit if he didn't do what he did. Uh, so Jamie Frimpong, I think, is a, is a good option to start with. Then you've got Jan Kuto, um, obviously on loan at Girona. Um, I know City have offered a um, a new contract on the table, but not sure if he's going to accept that because rumours have started to fly around that City have basically put a price tag on Kuto. Um, so it makes me feel like Jan Kuto's basically leaning towards not coming back to Manchester City. However, if Kyle Walker was to leave, I think it's it's an easy option to give a choice. It's an easy option for, for a right back who, again, uh, played very well going forward. People have, have questioned him defensively, but Mint going forward, he's, he's linked up with Savio, um, which we could see again at City, a bit of a reunite on that. So, Jan Kuto or Jeremy Frimpong, I think, would be good options if you're looking for that attacking um, side of it, um, basically right wing-back mode. And then another option is one that covers two, really, uh, Joshua Kimmich. Now, it's weird to throw Joshua Kimmich being a CDM into this right-back spot, but he's very versatile, so he can play in that right-back position. If Kyle Walker was to leave and we did sign Joshua Kimmich, I do think we'd see games where we play in that right-back spot. We've seen what Pep does with these players. Guy loves moving players about so I think Kimmich would offer a bit of versatility and a bit of cover on that right hand side when we need to be a little more defensive when you've got teams that are going to sit back and let you go at them um, low block I think playing your players like a Jeremy Frimpong or a Jan Kuto helps you, helps you a lot it's an extra man who can whip a ball in the box however if you've got teams that are going to come out to you you need that more defensive side of it Joshua Kimmich is a very good option that's why the versatility helps us a lot if Rodri's going to play that CDM role Joshua Kimmich can give you an option on that right hand side that's why I've thrown his name in the hat there uh, because he can play that role Personally, I'm not really sure which one we'd go for if we even went for any. We're not good at signing fullbacks. And I've seen some rumours that City won't even look at replacing Kyle Walker because they're happy with the current fullback situation, which leaves me on to option two, sticking with the current squad. 
do we just stick with what we've got? We've got Rico Lewis who can play there, yet beat Young, and also we've seen him very mo- a lot more advanced uh, in this past season. Didn't get the game time that I think he deserved last season, but um, I do think uh, Rico Lewis is an option there. Um, you've got Akanji who can play right back. You've got John Stones who can play right back. So City might just be happy with running the centre-back mode. We know how much City like playing four centre-backs at once. Uh, bit injury risky for me, but if you if you can play players like Akanji or John Stones at right back, or Enrico Lewis at right back, that's three players who can play that position, which is good cover. City might just be looking at it and going, we don't need we don't need to replace Kyle Walker with another right back. Let's just run the season with what we've got. Personally, I don't think City do that. I think if the outgoings come in, I think if Kyle Walker stay, then we're not going to sign a right back. But if Kyle Walker's to leave, I'd expect City to make a move um, in in the market now. Again, this is where I leave it to you guys. Going to throw it out to the comment section below. Who would you sign? Would you sign a right back? Uh, and if so, what right back would it be? Are you happy with going into the season without signing one if Kyle Walker leaves? Or have you got a set name, like a, a Frimpong, a Kuto, a, a, a Kimmich you can play at right back? Let me know in the comment section below your right back for Manchester City if Kyle Walker leaves this season. Big up, and we'll see you tomorrow with another video. <laughs>